Hey, it's Joel. We're back in the kitchen with Sydney, and we have a new member of the family. Who is that? Bart. And what is Bart? A hamster. And hamsters like to eat hamster food, but the food is right now stored in a Ziploc container. We want to make it a better storage container for the food, and I think 3D printing is the way to solve it. And we're gonna do it one take, no cuts. You ready to do this, Sid? No. I am too. Okay, we're gonna do it right here on 3D Printing Nerd. Just keep it rolling. The problem in front of us is food storage and not like apples and bananas. It's more like hamster food. Can I hold the hamster for a bit? Hamsters do like to eat. What's this one's name? Bart. And what does Bart like to do? Um, climb his cage. Likes to climb the cage? Mm-hmm. And we have seen Bart eat, right? Yes. Okay, good. And so we know that Bart's getting some nutrition. Bart likes to store some food in the cheeks, doesn't he? Mm hmm Yeah. Thanks for noticing me. Okay. Well, here, I'm going to talk about the prints. I'll let you hold Bart again. There you go, little hamster. So it started with this. This is uh, a, a flask, I think. And this is like by Clockspring 3D. This is Protopasta High Five Blue. Can you get a little closer to that? This was printed on the Artemis using a 0.6 millimeter ruby nozzle from uh, a, a manufacturer I forget, but I was given it in Germany at Formnext. Look at this. It's got a little plug and it unscrews. And then you got yourself a little flask, right? It's got a pretty design right there. I think the Artemis did a good job. There's some spots where the, the layer changes kind of bump out, but that's, that's okay. So we can put stuff in there and then close it up and that's good. This is 100% scale and it's way too small for all that food so we need it to go a little bit bigger. Does, does Bart like it? Nope. Bart, Bart doesn't care. Okay so we went bigger. Here we go. This is slightly larger. This is the same one and this was printed on the Artemis as well with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. Uh, it did okay. I'm still trying to dial in the settings. I get some weird stuff right along there. I don't know what's causing that. And I'm just trying to tune it in. This, though, this filament is from a company called Spider Maker. And normally you think of a spider maker as a spider. Miles, let's go. But uh, they call themselves Spider Maker. Feel it. Feel it. Isn't it? It's kind of, it's not. It's, it's a weird texture and I can't describe it. And I'll try to find some words to describe it, but it was printed in Spider Maker PLA. Plastic rubber. Wish I could have some. Plastic rubber. That's actually a really good description of it. This is the Prusa Orange PPE, PETG filament. And that, that's the little plug right there. Right, you, wanna, you wanna take a look at that? That was printed on the Prusa Mark III. And this one was on the Artemis, and the plug goes in. So I did this thinking it would be enough, but if you, if you look at this, we've got probably more food than what can fit in there, right? So we could put candy in this one. Okay. We'll, we'll save that one for candy. Okay. I have candy so, over there. What? I have candy over there. Okay, well then this will be Sydney's candy over there container. So there's also another design, and it has a handle, and they look like this. This is uh, the oil can flask, I think it's called. And one of these, well, both of these were printed on the Artemis. This is using the Jesse PLA from Printed Solid. And again, I'm working on my settings. But uh, this one was Cura. And this one was Prusa Slicer. And I think Prusa Slicer did a much better job. Uh, if you look on the bottom, because there's these uh, these these angles that... that uh, kind of fold up there. I think I either need to increase cooling or print at a lower temperature or something, but still, look at that design. That is a neat design, right? It's got a handle. You can pour your, your oil or whatever out of it. And so this is what I wanted to use for the food. What do you think? Yes. Don't want to ruin everyone's good time. We are in agreement. So now <laughs> we have this. This is larger than that and uh, I used spider maker still funny name spider maker PLA for the plug you want to take a look um how's it look looks like a disaster 
good. That was Bart Think. Oh, that was my phone. Yeah, it's over there. Look at it. Do you want to get it now? No, it just made a noise. Oh, okay. I'm going to do that again. There we go. So there it is. This is it. Uh, we printed this on the Artemis. This is using the printed solid Jesse PLA. Like I said, the Spider Maker for the cap. This one, you can kind of see the, the infill cross sections in the light. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, you can see that? Okay, I think that's solved by having less overlap or more perimeters. Uh, I, I know that the extrusions are pretty decent. If you look, look at that. It's a flat bottom compared to this one. It's shiny. And it's shiny as well. It is shiny, isn't it? Yes. Super smooth too. So these were folding up. Weird. Is it weird? Yes. These were folding up. I didn't want these to fold up. And so using mesh mixer, I kind of, kind of cut the bottom off a little bit just because I wanted it to be more flat. Plus, if it's full of food, we don't want the food to get so in there and tip it over. There's a lot of room for design here. Do you want to draw or paint something on that? I don't know. Think I've had enough fun for one day. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. So now we have a container. I think it's going to fit the food. I'll take hamster. He's crazy. He is crazy. Okay. Watch her, she's going to put your food This in. is why I said we need a funnel. Okay, but I think you can do it without the funnel. I have faith in you. Oh, I'm smart. Hold on. <laughs> Don't worry, dogs. Boy, this hamster, here's the food. It must. Okay. Okay. That fits perfectly. Whoa, it is perfect. Can you see that, Mommy? Yep. Fantastic. Wow, that actually worked pretty well. You don't want to cap it? Good toss. Thank you. Probably goes the other way to tighten it. There you go. And then pick it up. Well, use the handle. <laughs> Look at that. Cool. So is this a success? Yes. Can I fill up his food thing? Sure. Fill up the food thing. Okay. Ow, my That's finger. the true test. Okay, some spilled out, <laughs> but not much. There you go. She doesn't like Bart. Oh, Bart, you could just dive in there. <laughs> Cap it up. Perfect. Hey, it worked. Nom nom? Nope, no nom nom. All right, well. <laughs> Cool. Well, here. It was I'll... supposed to be a few days until I had to clean the cage. Here you go. Wait, wait, wait. Here's the hamster. Maybe Bart will eat it. You don't know. Well, you got a cage to clean, apparently, and we're done. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, call this good. Thanks for watching. Uh, this was one take. One take. Hi, Maya. This was one take, and uh, I think we had a lot of fun. I hope you learned that 3D printing can solve lots of interesting problems. Plus, it gives us an, an, an excuse to go get some candy. Links to this model. Well, actually, this is on his Patreon. So I'll put a link to Clock Springs Patreon in the description. You getting candy? Yep. Okay. And we'll see you on the next one. Hey, hey, come on. We got to close it out. Okay. Don't forget to hug each other more. Love you all. And as always, high five. High five. It's kind of you to kidnap me. Oh, here, while we're ending here, show, show David there. Look at that. David's my audio engineer. Say hi, David. Hi. Perfect. Okay. Now say bye. Bye. <laughs> and cut. Yay, we did it.